Hey guys, it's Avondale and welcome to the Behind the Walls series where I take you guys behind the walls of the Knox Crew Game Show. Oh my god. Oh Such you. Such a bad joke. You. So, uh, as you can hear, I'm here with Noxite today and we would like to uh, carefully remind you right now before we get started that if you haven't seen the episode yet, it'd be a good idea to go watch it now and I've got a link up there somewhere for you guys to do it. Uh, so go check that out. So yeah, uh, here's Noxite. How's it going? Hey. I'm great. I didn't laugh at your joke. Yeah, you are the biggest <laughs> troll. Uh, even even with, before we started recording, he was like, okay, when I say that behind the walls joke, you have to laugh, like, really hard. You have to laugh like, so hard. I, laugh I wanted him. So hard, like, you're desperate, as if you're desperate to marry me. I wanted you know? him to laugh at that joke that was obviously a joke. Uh, <laughs> and you expect you wanted me yeah. to Yeah, and he said he was going to do it, and he's such and a I jerk. I said I was going to laugh. <laughs> I mean, it's anyway. okay because uh, let's be. Just read some of the Job jokes during the episodes <laughs> this season, uh, and you'll see why Nox is so mean to me. Uh, <laughs> it, it's it's all a rebuttal of the yeah. Job jokes. Okay, so anyways, uh, we are in Shoot 'Em Down, a uh, game which uh, we designed brand new for this season of game show, and just happened to be the first game picked, which was kind of nice. Was it was it the first? Um, game that was redesigned, like, one of the brand new ones. It was the first brand new was, game yeah. for the new season, yeah. Indeed. Uh, so we actually, we were setting out to build a game that was uh, similar to Bath Time, sort of, except uh, we didn't want the teams to be taking turns at rounds. We wanted them to go at the same time. And uh, if we hit this button here, uh, we can come down below and I'll show you sort of what we were looking at doing. Uh, so basically, uh, imagine there was like a, a blue team side over there and we're like the yellow team right now, right? Uh, so both teams would be traversing sort of a sprint style obstacle course at the same time, but we needed a way for you to be able to interact with the players on the other side. We were going to do that with bows and arrows, and so uh, we were thinking, how do we trip traps with a bow and arrow? And the answer to that is you shoot a button. Aww. There we go. Uh, so you shoot a button. Uh, the issue with that, though, is, you know, there's there's three people playing, so let's say uh, the trap means that a piston comes out so they can't go by. Uh, we now have no control over when uh, this button resets. The game will have to despawn the arrows. We could kill them, uh, but there is some uh, variability there that we didn't want to deal with. So we were looking for some type of a different target that you can shoot uh, to control the amount of time it takes for the trap to reset. And so I came up with these minecart targets here, and basically what happens is you shoot the minecart, that trips the trap, and then after a certain length of time, uh, it can be adjustable, it respawns the minecart back over here, and uh, shuts the target off. Nice thing about these, they're really easy to shoot from far away, uh, which means you can put them at really weird distances and uh, still make it work. Did you see that? Yeah, that was just absolutely fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> you just shot at me, and there was like, you know, the Doritos particles that come off the stuff yeah. that like flew right by my face. It was great. Uh, fantastic. But yeah, uh, we wanted to use this for uh, those type of traps, and somewhere along the line, we were just like, man, shooting these minecarts is really fun. What if we did a game that was just about shooting them? Uh, and we were, had previously considered remaking Shoot 'em Up anyways, and that's sort of where Shoot 'em Down came from. Let's talk some more about what actually happened during this game when we were filming it. So when this game was first designed, um, and we did a test run, I think it took us like... Right, because of the rules, because of the rules of Shoot 'em Down, um, you know, there's you, you have two options when you come onto the field. You can either just straight away, you know, straight off, just hunt down the um, the targets. Just, you know, ignore the enemy team and just go for the targets. Or you can try and sabotage the enemy team, right? Um, yep. So this means, like, a, an abundance of different kind of um, outcomes can happen during the game. Because what happens if the enemy team just choose to ignore you and you choose to ignore them? You know, nothing, it just kind of, it gets, the game just happens really quickly, right? And that was sort of our issue in testing, was the first time we tested the game, uh, it lasted about five minutes. The second or third time we yeah, tested it, it lasted over, over ten. 
because yeah. the teams were just trying to uh, sabotage the other ones the whole time, and then games started to get really quick after that, and it kind of worried us. Yeah, so there was a lot of kind of random outcomes when we were testing, and the difficult thing is, how do you know what what will happen on the night when you let the teams out of of the cage, <laughs> of their cages down here? Yeah. Um, how do you know what they will choose to do? Are they going to simply try to sabotage the other team, or are they just going to go for the far targets? Um, and, you know, that's going to determine how long the game's going to last. Ultimately, we don't want a game that lasts two minutes because that's too short. We want a little bit more time for you, for the audience to get into it and get into the tension and etc. Um, but also, we don't really want a game like this to last 10 minutes. We want it sort of in the five to eight minute region. So it makes the best uh, time of an episode, and interestingly, if you listen yeah. to the commentary of the players during the episode and, and the interviews afterwards, when they were strategizing, they were initially saying, okay, two of us need to sabotage and one of us needs to shoot targets or something like that, and once the, uh, the doors came down, uh, pretty much all hell broke loose and everyone just ran around and did their own thing. Oh, yes, I think we've thrown our tactic out completely, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. We need to start this thing around. Uh, so it was kind of unfortunate that it was. Le it ended up playing out less based on teamwork than we had initially mm. thought. Uh, yeah. And I think that if we were to uh, remake this game or reuse it again in the future, we would probably try to uh, find a way to force teamwork a little bit better. Like maybe yeah. if you need to get out of the water, your teammate has to help you to open up a, the ladder or something like that. Um, there's there were, there's ways we there, can do it. There was, yeah, there, I mean, I was going to say that there was still a, a, a lot of awesome moments in the episode, and even though the, the game lasted three minutes, I almost felt like it was perfect for the first game of the season. Yeah, we got lucky that it was the first game of the season. I would agree because uh, at that point in time, like, yeah, well. and it, and it, but it's short enough. It's a new game. You're right. So that yeah. means that the the first. Uh, people to see this are going to say wow they've made new games for the show and that was extra yeah. lucky because we didn't really have a ton of brand new games on the dome I think this might have been the only one for the first uh, filming the time, that we did yeah. um, coincidental that it was the first brand new game made and the first brand new game played. no kidding and it is yeah. entirely random by it the is. way uh, you'll hear me maybe you've already heard me talk about the decision dome in that video but uh, the chickens do decide <laughs> it uh, yeah, we always we always get asked like when we show the decision dome. So what always is like, yeah, but is it actually random or is it like rigged? And no, hundred percent random. Yeah, like, that's you know why would we? There's a one in eight chance. Uh, What's the fun? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's awesome. But yeah, anyways, you'll hear me talk about that in that video for sure. Um, but the other thing I want to say is, like, I mean, you think about it, right? Let's say you are brand new to the Nox Crew Game Show. This is the first episode you're watching. Uh, if we had had a longer game for the first episode, and you will see some longer games throughout the season, trust us. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Um, that, well, whose fault was that? Was it your fault, audience? Actually, it was 20. 20. Uh, <laughs> let's just blame it on the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you'll see what we mean. Uh, no, but I mean, imagine that, you know, it's some of you, it might have been your first episode that you ever saw the Nox Your Game Show, but uh, if it was and you had a longer game to watch, you would have been stuck here watching, you know, a 20 minute game. And do you make it to the end? Do you get to see the reaction from the winning team and the losing team when the match is over? Do you get to see the uh, commentary afterwards? Maybe not. Uh, we do a lot of research into the analytics of YouTube and you can see uh, on every video when uh, people stopped watching on average and uh, the longer videos especially people don't make it all the way through life gets in the way right like you start playing I, the video and then somebody yeah. calls you and you have to stop it and this think... yeah go ahead no do you want to finish what you I was or? just gonna say like this was the perfect opportunity for uh, new people to get the entire experience in mm. a shorter time frame like you if you start watching episode one of this season you will finish watching it because it's that quick mm -hmm. that yeah that's um when the game finished when we actually played it on the night and it finished in three minutes i was a bit i was a bit disappointed i was like oh what you know first game of the season only three minutes like that just zoomed past my face but then when i was kind of editing it and i actually put it into the episode 
and we got the graphics on top and the sounds and the music and um, the reactions yeah, from the yeah. contestants yeah and the, the the contestants like voices and you know every time they got hit and thrown into the water you'd hear them scream there's like a bit with Doffy Dorton <laughs> yeah. flies past the camera. The guy, the like, guy's standing right here, and you see her like uh, she's literally yeah. just right here in the camera, and she flies through. You hear her scream. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that's gotta sting. And it's it's stuff like that that uh, it made this game uh, really fun for us to watch afterwards. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, certainly we would have liked it to last a little bit longer, but it ended up working out perfectly. Like, we got really mm. lucky with the way that it happened. So, yeah, in the end, I was quite satisfied that it was the first episode because the exact reasons we've just gone over uh, at <laughs> the last 10 minutes. <laughs> right. um, but uh, when we originally played this game, and I originally saw it, right, when I watch a game, when a game is presented in its full form and it's, and it's played... I usually spectate the game first. Um, sometimes I'll actually play it to get a feel for it and then give my criticisms. But I watch it because I'm the one who directs the cameras for each game. Um, I have to, um, I have to figure out a way that the game will be watched by the audience and enjoyed. Because if a game isn't enjoyable to watch, then what's the point of having it, right? Because right. the whole game show is, is watched, you know. Um, so I have, in my head, I have, okay, we have four cameras, right? Where do I put all four of those cameras and how do I cut to them? And when do I cut to them? <laughs> That's an important um, point to make real quick before you go on. <laughs> we film six contestants with four cameras. Uh, yes. <laughs> that is continuously a nightmare, specifically in games like this, where there's no real rhyme or reason. You could start uh, as, you know, a blue team member and you could go to any of the other 15 targets on the other side or anywhere else on the map uh, how do you predict what they're going to do how do you assign a camera to that when there's only uh, and two cameras notice, for every three contestants you'll notice right at the end of the, the match that happened <laughs> one of the cameras um, had to zoom across the pitch yeah. we're in the tech chat and I'm like I'm looking at the game and I'm thinking like he's going for the last flag <laughs> There's no camera on him. I, I remember like, you said that. Someone get him. I, I, was like, just, I was like, I was like, there's one flag him. left. <laughs> Sam sees him and flies across, like hits, sits, hits C2L, goes zoom, zoom across him to get to it, and then looks and straight down. It, it was a beautiful it been, camera shot too. Yeah, it would have been devastating if we didn't get that on camera because right. that would have looked really weird. Is it the flag? Is it the flag? Yes, it's the flag. Yeah, Go yeah, yeah, the final one. one. Conflict nerd takes it, and it's down. Ding ding. So these are the problems that are f uh, I'm faced with when a new game is, is um, presented. Um, is it camera friendly? That's the number one question. And shoot them down, it was like, no. No, it wasn't. Right? <laughs> because in shoot them down, there are so many places that the players can just randomly appear in. I mean, literally, someone can just shoot them and suddenly they're all, all the way on the other end of the pitch. Um, and there's six people running around in random different directions. There's absolutely no linear um, setup to this game. So there's no way for me to plan um, how the cameras move. It's literally, okay, you have to follow uh, some player and just hope in, for the love of God that you've got the action. Um, <laughs> it, re it reminds me a little bit of uh, the way that we had done lockdown in lockdown, uh, EP6 yeah. of the pilot season. It was pretty much camera. Uh, follow a player if they get killed follow the player that killed them uh, yeah. but then you know you get one player who kills two people and then all of a sudden you get two cameras on one guy and yeah. uh, everything's all messed up again so the cameras um, in that game they have to communicate a lot they have to keep on shouting out who they're following so that another camera who's following the same one isn't conflicting right so if I, I say okay I'm following Zafin and someone else is following Zafin, then they'll realize that they need to go and follow someone else. Um, so, you know, there's just kind of like this this game of uh, camera switching going on in the chat. But it's not, to me, that, you know, that's okay. You know, we can grab that, we can get all these shots of the action. Um, let's say we have six cameras, right? Um, the reason we don't have six is because it complicates the editing process. It's, uh, I don't have very good hardware 
Um, we don't have six people to just have on a night recording all at the same time like that. Yeah, we have seven um, capable cameramen, and yeah, it's and to get they have lives them on the same night. Yeah, <laughs> they have lives. They're not always available. Um, so you know that's fine. We can get six shots. We can get every single uh, person in shot. But the problem relies. In, it actually comes when um, it's how, how to make the audience understand the logistics of the game. Um, you know, if I'm constantly switching this camera to six different shots, you're not really... You're just kind of getting all this action happening all at the same time, and it's not a really simple... Um, you can't really simply follow it. Yeah. Like, it's not easy to follow, where if you look at a game like Sprint, for example, it's just one straight line, and the camera doesn't move that much. But as soon as you have all this stuff going on, it can get really confusing and you can end up like not really understanding um, everything that's going on. Yeah, and we so, certainly hope that we ended up pulling it off in the final product. You'll notice that there's a lot of camera angles where you'll see the target get shot so you can hear the sound effect to the point and watch the scoreboard update all at the same mm -hmm. time. And that's sort of how we were trying to keep it uh, I'd flowing. Say, I'd say we didn't like, we didn't put completely like get away with it. I still felt that Shoot 'em Down was a very um, fast and action-packed game. Uh, too fast for my for my liking. Um, but you know, as I said, it, it made a really fun game because of all the sound effects and all the things that are going on. So it doesn't didn't really matter. Um, I don't think I would have been able to keep up with it if it was an eight-minute game. Right. I'd have been like, Jesus, was this is too fast? <laughs> and yet um, again, that comes back to how lucky we were that we played this one first. Yeah, uh, so we so tried... real quick, uh, I'm actually yeah, gonna come up here. Uh, this is my little uh, uh, sort of start game TP in area. I stuck it inside the scoreboard, but I wanted to come up here because I wanted to go down below uh, into the redstone, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the ways that we tried to uh, to sort of repair uh, the issues yeah. that we knew make, the game had <laughs> to make it look simpler and follow it like play simpler. Yeah, we, we were Let's say slower. we were trying to slow the game down, and every way we tried to do it uh, actually made it more complicated. And this uh, little I'd say, I'd say it made it less fun. Less fun as well, points, sure. Yeah. Uh, this uh, little doodad right here uh, was actually uh, one of the ways that we uh, tried to slow the game down. Uh, this is a beacon right there. See beacon, uh, and it's on a. Uh, pedestal that makes it turn on when it has a clear sight to the sky, which it doesn't right now, but that's fine. Uh, basically, the reason this was here is because uh, there were three places up in the map, over the center, and then over the T intersections on either end of the course, the left and right sides, uh, where the this would get cloned into, and it would be, uh, we called it a resupply point, didn't we? Uh, yes. So basically, one player out of the three of your team was a resupplier, and he didn't have a bow, uh, he had a sword. And the idea was that uh, the two resuppliers had to fight over the resupply point to get the arrows uh, back for themselves. And basically the way that it would work is it would give the, res the resupplier two arrows and then each yeah. of the uh, other two people, the shooters, it would give them one arrow. And so they would- run back. Uh, yeah. Well, originally- one, one of them did it that way. We did it a couple different ways. Yeah, they, they had to run, the other two shooters had to run back to the resupply to gather more arrows from him. So he would literally throw the arrows to them. Yeah, that was the original way we did it. When you combined that with, uh, you know, the the fighting over the cap, the resupply point and yeah. everything else, it slowed the game way down. There was like 20 minute games. Uh, um, it en Yeah, and it ended up being that uh, the people with the arrows now... Uh, valued their arrows so much that they didn't want to sabotage the other team. They yep. just wanted to go for the shoot in the target. Exactly. Targets. They stopped using their knockback bows to shoot people because they knew their arrows were so valuable for the score of the game. Uh, as far as the redstone goes on this game, uh, really very simple. The only new thing we invented for this game was just those targets that we used, but uh, basically, you shoot a minecart up there, it just trips a signal that uh, puts blocks down here based on which target they are. I had them all color-coded as well. Uh, when they all get hit, uh, there's an AND gate that shuts off, triggers the wind sequence. Uh, a lot of this stuff is actually outdated now. I've replaced it with uh, 
uh, condensed versions of this that I can trigger remotely. Uh, but that's a whole uh, new video in itself. Uh, I think. Oh, and this is uh, this is actually part of the resupply point over here as well. Uh, this was the animation when it would spawn in. Uh, it would strike lightning, and uh, where's the lightning? Yeah, it would, uh, it would strike the ground when it summoned in, and then clone itself in. And then this was the timer that replaced it. There was a randomizer that uh, chose which one was going to come next. Uh, it was all neat. Uh, I didn't delete it in case we ever wanted to come revisit it, but uh, that'll never happen. Not for this game, anyways. Maybe for another game. We'll see. <clears throat> so uh, in, in the future, <laughs> in the future, yeah, we'll 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 make this into a game right after uh, Joffrey's Chamber Three. How's that? <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, so yeah, what do you think? Anything else uh, you want to talk about that we haven't talked about yet? I don't know. It feels like we covered it um, with icing. And a cherry. Ooh. You no, know? I yeah. don't know. And then sprinkled a little love on yeah, top I mean, of it. Yeah, I mean, you know, there was a lot of stuff that we tried with this game, and in the end, we just kind of said, you know what? This is kind of fun. Let's not change it. If it's fun, then that's what counts. And we're just going to, you know. <laughs> and it was <laughs> fun, and you heard the reaction from uh, the boys and the girls at the oh, end of yeah. the Oh, yeah, when they won. Oh, my God. Team Shed's reactions. Oh, my God. It was so good. Uh, they, they were just, they, you felt it. You felt the heat. <laughs> yep. Yeah, really great. Really great game. Yeah. Again, so. Alrighty. I wouldn't use it again. No jokes. <laughs> <laughs> no jokes. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, uh, yeah, so uh, thanks to Noxite for uh, coming on the show to talk about Shoot Him Down. Uh, I'm sure we'll see you again in another episode in the future. Please. Yeah, I'm sure. Please uh, invite me back. <laughs> <laughs> Fair don't enough. kick me out. So until next time, I've been Avondale. Thanks for watching. And uh, and Noxite. I've been Noxite. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye. <laughs> so where do we go from here? So wait, okay, so you're talking about you were talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> no no, I purpose I purposefully uh, missed that. You oh yeah, what just like you purposefully um, laughed at my joke earlier. <clears throat> Uh, just, you know, just, I don't know, go up to shoot him down now, shoot him down. <laughs> just be like, okay, and this game is what came out of it. Hey, I'm great. I didn't laugh at your joke. Yeah, you are the biggest <laughs> troll. Uh, Aven, Aven was, before we started recording, he was like, okay, when I say that behind the walls joke, you have to laugh, like, really hard. You have to laugh like, so hard, I, laugh I wanted him. so hard, like, you're desperate. As if you're desperate to marry me. I wanted you know. him to laugh at that joke that was obviously a joke. Uh, <laughs> and you expect you wanted me yeah. to. Yeah. And he said he was going to do it, and he's such and a I jerk. I said I was going to laugh. <laughs> I mean, it's anyway. okay because uh, let's be. Just read some of the Job jokes during the episodes <laughs> this season, uh, and you'll see why Nox is so mean to me. Yeah. So let's say uh, the trap means that a piston comes out so they can't go by. Uh, we now have no control over when uh, this button resets. The game will have to despawn the arrows. We could kill them, uh, but there is some uh, variability there that we didn't want to deal with. So we are looking for some type of a different target that you can shoot uh, to control the amount of time it takes for the trap to reset. And so I came up with these minecart targets here, and basically what happens is you shoot the minecart, that trips the trap, and then after a certain length of time, uh, it can be adjustable, it respawns the minecart back over there. Uh, <laughs> it, it's, it's all a rebuttal of the yeah. joke jokes. Okay, so anyways, uh, we are in Shoot 'em Down, a uh, game which uh, we designed brand new for this season of Game Show and just happened to be the first game picked, which was kind of nice. Was it, was it the first... Um, game that was redesigned, like, one of the brand new ones? It was the first brand new was, game yeah. for the new season, yeah. Indeed. Uh, so we actually, we were setting out to build a game that was uh, similar to Bath Time, sort of, except uh, we didn't want the teams to be taking turns at rounds. We wanted them to go at the same time. And uh, if we hit this button here... <laughs> Hey guys, it's Avondale and welcome to the Behind the Walls series where I take you guys behind the walls of the Nox Crew Game Show. Oh my god. Oh, you. Such a bad joke. You. 
So, uh, as you can hear, I'm here with Noxite today, and we would like to uh, carefully remind you right now before we get started that if you haven't seen the episode yet, it'd be a good idea to go watch it now, and I've got a link up there somewhere for you guys to do it. Uh, so go check that out. So yeah, uh, here's Noxite. How's it going here? Uh, we can come down below and I'll show you sort of what we were looking at doing. Uh, so basically, uh, imagine there was like a, a blue team side over there and we're like the yellow team right now, right? Uh, so both teams would be traversing sort of a sprint style obstacle course at the same time. But we needed a way for you to be able to interact with the players on the other side. We were going to do that with bows and arrows and so... Uh, we were thinking, how do we trip traps with a bow and arrow? And the answer to that is you shoot a button. Aww. There we go. Uh, so you shoot a button. Uh, the issue with that, though, is, you know, there's there's three people playing.